Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and the first in our series of five alternative reasons to use the COUNTIF function and in this first video of the series we want to look at how to use the COUNTIF function to prevent duplicate entries in a range now duplicate values, duplicate entries such a common issue in Excel so common in fact that as past versions have gone by Microsoft have released various features to handle them we've got built in features in conditional formatting now we have buttons like remove duplicates etc but that's all good if it's post the event we want to look at preventing them being entered from the outset so in this example I'm going to highlight cells A2 to A10 and I want to prevent duplicates in that range of cells so I'll click on data and data validation and it'll ask what would I wish to allow I'm going to ask for a custom entry where we will type our formula of count if so hopefully we can see this box OK in here we are going to put equals count if open in bracket now two arguments count if will take the first one is the range that you're testing and for this I'm going to put range A2 the first cell within the range and I'm going to use my F4 key to fix that put in my colon and then type A2 but I do not want to fix that side so I'm basically saying that the range will be from the first cell in the range to whatever the active cell currently is. And I'll then put a comma where I ask what is it you want to test? Like what is it your sorry, what is it you're counting within there? Well it's going to be A2. I want to count all episodes of A2, whatever value is in the or the current cell really within the range up to this point from A2 to wherever I am now count the occurrences of wherever I am now I'm hoping that makes sense it made a little bit of sense in my head there closing bracket equals to 1 and there's our testing bit of the validation criteria so once you've counted that is it equal to 1 if it's not then it's a duplicate please prevent it Okay, I'm going to click the error alert tab at the top and create a nice error. Uh, that is a duplicate value or duplicate entry, shall I say. Please try again. Let's see how we do with that. Let's put on a different line there. Getting a bit of a mess. Okay. So, if I was to type brown, it's quite happy. But if I was to type green, seeing that's already in there, I am now prevented with my error message. So, using the COUNTIF function there, we have prevented the entry of duplicates within a range. Hope you find that video useful. Please check out the next one in the series where we look at how to uniquely rank items within a range. Or check out any more of our videos at our YouTube channel or at computergargard.com.